what is going on guys welcome back to the channel and for this one man i wanted to bring you guys some more world boss ultimate gameplay against corvus since i'm still farming for those elusive speed titan records now yesterday guys i brought you some gameplay using scarlet witch in their new infinity war uniform and showcased to you guys just how amazing she is thanks in part to that mind control and for today i wanted to do the exact same thing and i wanted to showcase just how amazing Ebony Ma is because some of you guys did in fact bring up the fact that with this new uniform on this guy he now has 10 seconds of mind control which I've showcased several times before is actually really amazing and I wanted to show you guys how he fares against Corvus on a late stage like this one so I'm gonna go ahead and grab I think I'll grab the team up Black Crush right here and I'll actually go ahead and pick up valkyrie just for a little bit of extra dps and i'm gonna go ahead and pick up three ignore dodge strikers an ancient one and anti-venom this is my staple set of strikers for any of you guys who are wondering and we're gonna jump in and see how fast we can clear this thing compared to how fast we cleared it using scarlet witch all right let's do this you're not even getting one attack off let's go still gotta watch out for those lightning bolts still because they can debuff me and these toxic meteors can definitely still kill me And if he gets off a lucky dodge and dodge the mind control, that would be really annoying. So I highly recommend that you guys bring at least three ignore dodge strikers at all times to prevent stuff like that happening to you because it can't happen. And when it happens, that's a pain because the cooldown time is actually really long on that skill. Thank you, Ancient One. You are not going to attack. <laughs> this guy almost got off an attack. Not today, bro. Anyone else think his three skill animation just looks like a, a Grim Reaper? Woo! I thought I was gonna get debuffed there by those lightning bolts. Where are you going? You're not doing anything, bro. What? You're not summoning no sword, nothing. He's out of my mind control. Bro, he's not creating nothing. He's under mind control. Let's go. <laughs> this guy's just chilling in a corner right here. Like, I swear, this is like the cheat code, guys. I wonder how Enchantress and Emma Frost at tier 2 will do here. Woo! These environmental hazards are still a pain. So, I'm gonna actually pick up a couple of these heals. Oh, damn, they're <laughs> off to the corner. I don't even need them. I can still win without them. It's just... It's so annoying because you can still get killed by just the environmental hazards. But as you guys can see, man, it's super easy with this guy because of the mind control. You can make Corvus do basically nothing. And this guy's just posing with me there. Hold up. Is that mine? Oh, yeah, that is mine. I completely forgot I had him on my team. I was just like, what the hell? But who's the third person? Is that Widow? Yeah, that's Widow over there. <laughs> okay, guys but whoo actually this is good this is good boys all right let's actually jump on here and i'll show you the build for this guy man 
Got another book. How many books do I have now? Get out of here. Let me check this something real quick right here. I have... How many books do I have? Okay, I have 500. Okay. So I'm halfway there for my other tier twos. That's cool. That's cool. I know some of you guys are wondering what my progress is like on Cap. Cap is ready to be tier two any... Well, tier three anytime I feel like it. So yeah, I'm just holding off just for... I don't know. I don't even know why I'm waiting at this point, to be honest, because he's definitely better than Spider-Man and Iron Man. So it's not like it's a bad choice to tier two cap. Well, I keep saying tier two. You guys know what I mean, tier three. Anyways, let's actually take a look at the build details. As you can see right here, man, 130 for attack speed, 49% for critical rate, 178 for critical damage, 48% for ignore defense. And my skill cooldown on this guy is not even maxed out. It's only at 48% as well. So even with my skill cooldown not being maxed out, I was able to very easily use this guy and keep the mind control up all the time. As you can see right here, the gears are all at 20, no urus on him at all. Skills are all at six. For me, the rotation is just to prioritize the three off cooldown, use four and five. And then after that, if I feel like it, I'll use the one and two. As for the ISO, you guys can see for yourself, man, power of Frangry Hulk. And as you can see right here, critical damage at 140 proc with some movement speed resist, which is not that good. As you can see right here, the uniform is still at normal, but I'm definitely gonna rack this up very, very soon because I wanna make this guy significantly stronger than he already is. And this uniform definitely has one of the best bonuses in the game. So it is one that is worth investing in. But that's all for this one, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Hope it was informative and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.